So this is the STW EDC organizer. Of course, it's in woodland camo, one of my favorite colors. We got that Cariology patch on top. And this also, I wouldn't classify as a pocket organizer. I'd have this in my backpack, in my duffel bag, in my glove box. I would have just the essentials in there, you know, maybe a couple of Panadols, first aid, the same kind of thing. Maybe give me some other ideas what I could use for my glove box pouches apart from a pen, Panadol and a few first aid things. But I do really, really love this pouch and I've done a dedicated episode to this and it's done extremely well. You can get them on eBay and Etsy and I just love them. Like they're never sold out and um, a really big fan of what he does. So let's talk about this pouch here. This pouch is, Matt actually really worked with me on this one. This is when he had about 5,000 followers on Instagram. This of course is the Mighty Pouch. This is the Mighty Pouch Plus. The Mighty Pouch just is like straight up and this one is more sideways. The Plus is sideways. So they are a little bit different, but I was pestering Matt for so long and then one day he just reached out and said, hey, I can ship this pouch to Australia. And I remember when I got it and posted it on Instagram, there were so many people in Australia that were like, how did you get that? And I said, look, he's opened up shipping to Australia now. It's just a matter of looking at the drops, following him on Instagram, and maybe you can get yours too. I've had so many people reach out to me and say, I can't get it. It's unbelievable, it's BS. And it's funny because I've never really had a problem getting him. Sometimes you gotta pay up a little bit. Like this one here, my friend ended up getting and he didn't really like the purple. So he reached out to me and said, hey, did you want it? And I was like, of course. He was flying to Australia for business. He brought it into Australia and then he shipped it to me and he made a couple of bucks and he ended up passing it on. I've actually worked out another deal with him as well. This one here, I just got on the site because I got lucky. And there's been a whole bunch of other ones as well that I've been lucky on wax camo versions that I've passed on to some of the subscribers as well that, you know, sometimes you get a clear shop. Like I have a mountain of pouches and sometimes you just don't need that many. But if you're persistent with garage built gear, you will get there eventually. And then there were two, and I wanted to talk about a guy called Mark in Colorado that makes these amazing pocket organizers. These are some of my absolute favorites, and the reason is because they are small and they don't take up a lot of room in my pockets. And I feel like this is what a pocket organizer should be. This is actually my bank card in there uh, at the moment because I was carrying it. They're actually very simple and I think that they look extremely, extremely amazing. This is what companies should be looking at doing more of. I guess he's got the monopoly at the moment, but look at that. Like you don't need to be adding any more than that. You got your blade, you got your pen, and then you got your cards on this one. There's not really much more that you need from these. So this one here is actually the mini grunt and this one here is the boulder. Now there are a couple of different versions. There is the grunt XL, I'm pretty sure, and the boulder XL as well. And I think there's one that has Molly. That's basically the Arc Company pocket organizers. I feel like this one here, the alpaca one, like this is more like pocket organizer central, right? Even things like this one here, the zero feud. How's that looking on camera? There we go. Now these other ones, yeah, you can get away with it, especially like the hub pouch. I feel like the garage built gear as well doesn't feel too bad in the pocket, but that's about it. The rest of them that I've talked about are basically apart from the tough stuff gear one, which I probably wouldn't recommend all that much, but um, the rest of them are for the glove box, backpack, bags, etc. But I feel like when you're thinking about a pocket organizer, you have to be thinking about less. Less is more. And look at this. Like this is as small as a pocket organizer gets. You got your blade and your pen. This one here, blade, pen, couple of cards. And in the middle, you got some cash. You could put a, you could put a coin in there as well. Same with this one. 
pen, blade, couple cards, you're done. Same with this one, the way that I carry mine, the Zip Pouch Pro. I usually just put a pen in there and then I put my blade in the back and I don't even put anything in the front. I put my cards in here, I put an air tag there and that's it. This one here, same thing. I put my blade in there and I'll usually just throw a pen right there. That's it. Like I don't usually carry much more than that and I don't want my pockets full of stuff, you know, just click clacking away. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I really wanna hear from you down in the comments. What's your favorite pouch maybe in this episode? And did I miss something that I should be looking at? Also, do you have pouches for the summer slash smaller pouches? and pouches for the winter because you're wearing jackets and things because that's kind of how I roll. So I really want to know about that. Are you into colors? Do you like patches? Do you not like patches? What do you think about some of these more limited edition companies? Do you have luck getting some of these pouches or not getting some of these pouches? Let me know. Also, you can follow me over on Instagram at OG Talks. I'm actually going to be doing a massive giveaway at a thousand followers. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you go over there and look me up. And uh, yeah.